Hello, this is Cass Baloo, and welcome to more Let's Play Golden Sun! We are right up where we left off last time. Right outside of the Vale. And we're still going back in. Because reasons. Uh, not to save. No, because first of all, there's this thing. No. Yeah, this thing, which I said I would explain last time. As you can say, it says, Cat will learn, which is broken English for saying the thing below, which is bestows cat when equipped it. This is one of several uh, synergy items where we can put it on anyone. I think we can put it on anyone. Wait. Yeah, we can put it on anyone and that it'll enable that person to use the synergy, or er, the catch synergy. Which is a field synergy only. It's, com not, it's like move, it's not used in battle. And we are going to use that in a minute because there's something we can catch with it. Go figure. You know? Uh, just where was it? I believe it was just across here. And maybe up a little bit. And... It is right here. Yay! It's the... I think that's a nut on the tree. Yep, it's a nut. That is just a healing item. It is basically a... Um... How would you call it? A Herb 2.0? Like, the Herb heals 30 HP, I want to say. The nut heals significantly more. Or, I say significantly, you know, I don't remember the exact values, why don't I just look? 50, 200, there you go. It, it is four times as effective a healing item. That's pretty effective. Um, now, the other thing I wanted to do here was... Visit the item shop. Okay, something to... Two things... Well, there's a, four things here, right? Buying and selling and artifacts and repair. These two are pretty straightforward. This, what this is for, is there's some items where you can use them in the field at any time. But every time you use them, they have a chance of breaking. Uh, for example, I know there's one item that cures status effects that does this. Uh, mostly it's equipment, actually. So if you ever use one of those and it breaks, you come here to repair it this way. Of course, we don't have any equipment that needs to be repaired. The other thing is this, and they don't have any artifacts, but make sure you check for artifacts at every single store, because they will get new ones. And the artifacts are basically all of the unique equipment, every single one. Whether you... Another thing also is when you sell unique equipment, like we don't have any yet, but we will get a lot, uh, it goes into here. Anyway, uh, herb and antidote. Okay, I don't need that stuff, I just wanted to look. This stuff on the other hand, I'm pretty sure they, these guys have stuff I want. Uh, actually, wait. Nope. Okay. The item shop usually doesn't have many artifacts. But, mostly it's in the weapon and armor section, you know? Uh, I don't have anyone who has a staff or a mace. Um, does Isaac have a short sword or a long sword? Same thing for Garrett, because both of them can use uh, long swords. They have short swords. Okay, and armor-wise, that's what I thought. Now, neither of them have shields, and neither of them have hats, as far as I remember. Uh, well, I'm gonna just double check, though. Let's see, yeah, they have padded gloves, con shirt, and short swords. Both of them do. Therefore, I can get them a better shirt, a, obviously not a dress, a shield, and leather cap. Actually, it's kind of a shame I can't buy them dresses. <laughs> um, if for no other reason than because it's a good defensive item, but also because I just like the idea of putting them in dresses. But, you know, what you gonna do? 
Uh, equips. And equips. And equips. Oh, this replaces the gloves, doesn't it? Yes. And that's another thing really nice about this. When you replace equipment in the buy menu, it gives you the option to sell it immediately. Uh, in this case, I do want to keep one pair of gloves because I may need it later on. Uh, before I buy the clothing, I want to buy a long sword. I can only afford one. But it will significantly increase the attack power of whoever I give it to. Hmm. Let's see. Is this a uh, plus eight either way? It's plus seven on Isaac. It's plus eight on Garrett. So it's actually a better investment to give this to Garrett. And I can sell the short sword. And I got a game ticket, I guess. I don't even remember what that's used for. <laughs> Probably something, though. And I still have enough to buy both trial and vests. Sounds pretty good. Okay, and it would be obviously it would be better if we could get another longsword for Isaac, but it's not really important. We can just wait until, yeah. Lit. Wait. 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 Oh. Anyway, like I was saying, we can just wait until later to get the better sword for Isaac. It's not that important yet, and we'll be able to afford something better pretty quickly. Now, without further delay, let's go deal with this thing. Oh! A traveling warrior! And I see you're an adept too! You are just the kind of fighter that I've been looking for! Would you please take me along with you? I'm a Venus Jin. E. My name is Flint. I must find my comrades. We were separated from each other when the volcano erupted. Maybe you can help gather my friends together as you travel. If you let me join you, I'll prove to be very beneficial to you adepts. Your synergy will grow stronger and your adept skills will also improve. You can pull on us in battle and just use your own power to and just use our own power to boost your own. If you call on us on many of us at once, our powers will work together. What do you think? Will you take me with you? I don't think you can turn down Flint here. If you say no, it's it'll just it's a but thou must, I think. Actually, in fact, if you turn him down enough times, I think he'll force himself on you. But I'm gonna save a little time and just accept him. Oh, you'll see. You won't regret it. Flint, the Venus Ginny, is now on Isaac's party. No, you really don't need to. I... Okay, fine. After bringing a Ginny into your party, you must send it to someone. I have no control here. Give the genie to someone else, move it like this. After choosing who will take the genie, you can set it. Setting a genie changes your attributes and, a bit, and maybe even your class. When your class changes, the synergy can use you can use may also change. Next, I'll show you how to use it. Really, you don't need to. You know what? You know what? I'm just gonna... I can explain this better than the game. So... I still don't have control. Okay, you know, I may as well explain this battle thing right now. You can... In battle, you can use Ginny just like this. If you do use it in battle, it'll unset it, so... Or it'll put it into standby, I think, is the name. 
and so you'll lose power, but you can use powerful attacks like this. Each Ginny has a different effect in battle. Uh, there is a few more things to note. One of them is what's doing right now, which is you can summon things. The level 1 summons are, are pretty straightforward, but they get better as you have more, up to 4 in this game. Um, and you can summon... Summoning uses Ginny that are set, or not set, uh, that are on standby and it puts them into recovery. It And it takes a... in battle, you take one Ginny that's in recovery every turn and it goes into uh, set per character. Plus also, out of battle, you pretty quickly recover Ginny uh, just by walking around. Yeah, like this. Um... Yes, I did. Don't explain it again. Also, one more thing for battles is if you kill an enemy using a Ginny Unleash, um, that is weak against that element, you will gain three times the experience you would normally get from that enemy, which I'm probably not going to use much because I don't remember the weaknesses of anything except for a few bosses, but is extremely valuable uh, if you know what you're doing for getting a lot of ex uh, extra experience. Now, to show what I was doing before, set this. You notice this increases all of Isaac's stats, but that's all it does to him. That's because it's a Venus Genie and he's a Venus uh, Adept, so they sort of match each other, so it's just a straight power-up. It makes him stronger if it's on, but unless he has a whole lot of them, them, it doesn't change his class. On the other hand, if I move this over to Garrett, Garrett's, cla Garrett's stuff is a little wonky, and his class changes because it's a different element, so he goes from his pure uh, fire, er, fire Mars class to a Garrett, to Garrett's um, Earth and fire class is the best way to put it, which is also why his um, moves change. He gets growth, which is a earth uh, synergy. It is also a synergy you can use in the field, actually. Growth is sort of a really interesting one, because you can only get growth by putting an earth uh, Ginny on an adept that is not an er earth adept. And you sort of really need growth for certain parts. Well, you don't need it anywhere, but it is extremely useful for a lot of different parts of the games. And by the way, before, when I was talking about collectibles that are really hard to find, I was talking about the Ginny. So now you know! And with that all said, we are ready to move on a bit. Uh, down here I get. Do I have a map? I do! I'm here, so I'm pretty sure I want to, hmm, I'm trying to remember where it is, um, yeah, I think I just want to go this way, and a slime appeared, by surprise, let's kill it, wait, are you weak against Earth, I wonder, I, I really don't know. I might need to look up some weaknesses, to be honest. I don't remember any of them. Again, except for a few bosses. Woo! Level up! And four coins. Now then... Wild mushrooms! Kill the mushrooms! Actually, let's unleash Flint, because why not? That didn't even kill it, really. I am disappointed, Isaac. I guess I didn't give him a sword, though, so it's sort of his own. It's sort of partially my own fault. Partially. Oh well, it's no big deal. 
And I just wasted Garrick's attack. Way to go! And I missed. Why are mushrooms so hard to hit? I don't know. It's weird. Is what it is. Maybe. No, it's just I'm a really low level. So, one more quick thing about Jitney, then I'm done explaining them for a while. This thing, I used it in the last battle. It does not reset itself automatically. You need to... If you use it in a battle and you don't summon anything, you need to uh, set it manually. Okay, and with that said, we just need... We are looking for this, actually. Ha! Ah, found it! We can't stay another minute in a dangerous place like this. We return to Kalal immediately. Kalal? Kalal? We return to it immediately. But oh no, the bridge is out. Master Hammett, this is terrible! The bridge has been destroyed! We cannot continue southward. What? The bridge? This is awful! How are we gonna get to K Kalal now? Master Hammett, I'm worried about leaving Ivan behind. As fond as I am of Ivan, it is his fault my rod was stolen. And his strange powers will aid him in search for the rod. Strange powers, you say? Ivan has strange powers? Ivan has strange powers, you say? <laughs> oh, that is... What is that? Wow! We must leave this treacherous place immediately. Wow, that came from the mountain, I think. Or Mount Elf. But, just wow. But to where? Where can we possibly go? We have no choice. We're headed north. We'll wind up in Lunpa if we go north. Well, it's better than being smashed by falling rocks here, isn't it? No arguments there. Of course, what we're interested in is the town of Vault. Really? Vault? That is such a bad name. Uh, or more specifically, one of the people here. Wasn't the eruption of Mount Elf incredible? Yes. I was so stricken with terror that I couldn't sleep for days! Ha ha ha. No, that's not really that funny. Um, can I jump in this well? No. But I can hear water. Okay, um, that guy looks creepy. Master Hammett's servants can't return to Kelal until he recovers the rod. Oh no, servant. That would be Ivan, presumably. By the way, just to show this quickly. They have all- they have basically all the same stuff that the store in, um... Well, actually, they have some new stuff. I don't think the Bracer can be used by Isaac or Garrett. And I know th actually, the circle maybe it can. I don't remember who can use what, okay? The only way I'm gonna know is if I buy it. Which I obviously can't afford. And over here... Longsword and the Battle Axe. This is why I didn't. I said, don't worry about the buying the longsword in Vale. First of all, we didn't have any money, and it would take too long to grind it up. But also, well, we didn't. We can buy it here. Now then, I just want to find Ivan because he seems like a pretty cool guy. And then I am going to call this an episode. Hmm. Let's try to talk to the creepy guy. Actually, maybe he's in here. He... Can someone please help Ivan? Actually... 
Ivan is in here! This little guy! Yes, I, I do possess strange powers. Did did he just mind re I need an adult! I need an adult! Oh. You have them too, don't you? That is so rude. What? My power is called Synergy? I had no idea! We have so much in common, I feel I can trust you with this. I am quite troubled. Master Hammett's rod was stolen. Would you please help me get back my, my master's rod? Uh... Normally I would say no in this situation, because this seems kind of sketchy. <laughs> but considering the current episode time, let's just take the answer that uses less time. Uh, thank you! With your help, I believe we can recover the rod. Your names are... Garrett and Isaac. Stop mind reading me! <laughs> I am Ivan. Pleased to meet you! My ability to read people's mind frightens you, doesn't it? Am I really? No. Evan and Isaac clasped their hands together. <laughs> ah, my mind! Stop reading my mind, Ivan! So, Isaac, would you read Garrett's... Could you read Garrett's mind? Oi. Yes, I could! Just as I thought. We can share synergy. What? You read my mind too, Isaac? Yep, it was very empty. Um, I guess that I could help you read minds if we shared our synergy. Hey, that's not fair. Why do you get to read my mind? You're right. Is not fair to read one way. Isaac and Garrett clasped their hands together. Whoa, I did it! I read your mind, Isaac! Clearly not, or else you would be unconscious. I mean, Isaac's a pretty smart dude. He can probably handle my superior mental abilities, but I don't think you can, Garrett. Um, and I'm still being mean to Garrett, and I was pressing the wrong button. Let's use Mind Read to find the thieves! Wait a second, don't people know that we're re reading their minds with Mind Read? Oh, I see. You two can tell when I'm using Synergy? Yep. Isaac, both you and Garrett are adepts. Maybe that's why you can tell that, that I'm using Synergy to read your minds. Indeed. Something important. Only adepts can see synergy. So, if we're using synergy, it sort of looks like something just happened without anything actually happening. Uh, if that makes sense. To anyone who is not an adept. So, mind reading just looks like we're standing uncomfortably close, for example. And moving things, they can't see that big hand or where it came from. They just see the object moving. Ordinary people can't see anything. There's nothing to worry about. Don't worry, I will not read your minds again. Ivan has joined your party! Yay! Let me read the minds of the townspeople to find the rod. Okay, really quick turbo time. He actually has better stuff than I could have sold this. Oh well. This is also a good opportunity just to check. Uh, no one else can use that. And no one else can use that. Okay. Good to know. However, uh, I sold it. But um, Ivan here cannot use a large sword like the long sword, but he can use small ones like the short sword. Uh, which will come up when I actually have some uh, another weapon. 
So until then, uh, anyway, I will explain Isaac's stuff more in the next episode. So until then, this has been Let's Play Golden Sun with Chaos Blue, and have a nice day.